Hey, YouTube. Oh, yeah, let me turn that down. Working in a garage band here with a pretty powerful song I'm working on. But, um, anyway, and part of the song is um, requiring some news footage, but not the footage, the sound of it, to kind of emphasize the point of my song. Now, the song I have chosen to write is a song about the fucked up shootings in our country. Rather than bitch about it on YouTube, I can explain it through a very powerful song. Well, anyway, all while doing research for this song, basically, um, looking for news coverage of the Sandy Brook shooting, reporters just talking about it, just that atmosphere to the song, basically, and make it more realistic. But the problem with this is, I'm going on YouTube, and I'm noticing a lot of people are saying that Sandy Brook shootings, the shooting was a fake. They're saying shit like, oh, it's fake, it's a conspiracy, da 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 da, you know. And to be honest with you, this is what I think. If it was real, it's a sincere tragedy. But if it was fake, I sincerely doubt that. Um, quite often, you get these extremist Republicans who use any excuse they can to make the Obama administration look bad and try to say, "Oh, look, Obama's trying to take our guns." But then Obama turns around and does that constitutional thing, unconstitutionally, where he takes away our guns. I saw it on the news reporter with Dick Cheney, and they're asking him. So, uh, how do you feel about Obama going against the Constitution? And all the people they ask fucking Dick Cheney about it. And Dick Cheney's just like, well, uh, I just think it's unjust, you know. Dick Cheney, who supports, you know, who shot some guy in the face. They just, they did an episode about it on the Young Turks. So, I thought it was sort of ironic. They, really, you know, it shows a lot of people to interview for this uh, conspiracy against Obama's gun ban policy. The guy who shoots his own best friend in the face while quill hunting, they interview fucking Dick Cheney. I thought that was like, well, that's kind of ironic. And sure as shit, the Young Turks voiced similar opinions. Now, here's the thing. If the government's trying to take away our guns, they'll do anything they can to, if that is the case, then they're probably trying anything they can to do it because they think, in their mind's eye, that... Well, if we don't want shootings like Sandy Brook to happen again, we should take away guns. That way people can't shoot each other. Well, here's the thing. One, you can't just legally take away our guns because, for one thing, it's a right to bear arms, the Second Amendment, okay? It's written in the Constitution by our founding fathers who founded this country, which you so happily shit on, okay? Two, um... Just because you take away a civilian's right to bear arms does not mean you're going to take away a criminal's right to bear arms. What I mean by this is that the criminal's not going to give two squirts of piss if it's illegal or not. He's a criminal. He or she's a criminal. They're not going to get the gun right away. So, really, the only way it's going to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun, unfortunately. Three, if these are supposed conspiracies and fakes to try to get our guns taken away, then that seems like a pretty low blow just to get people to stop believing in guns so they can dumb down our public. But here's the thing, if it's not a fake, these things aren't real, then it's making the gun-loving assholes using it as an excuse. Oh, it's all a fake just to get people to hate the government and get more guns. See, this all has a circle of one reference, and that's guns, okay? People are getting guns for their protection, but it's becoming our own destruction, if that makes any sense. Um, I believe in the Second Amendment. I'm all for right to support and bear arms responsibly, of course. You know, um, I've actually been out shooting. I've actually shot a couple of guns in my day. Uh, a couple of months ago, I think it was. It was. Um, uh, I got a chance to shoot three different guns, and it was loads of fun. All puns aside, it was actually really fun. You know, um, they showed me how to properly shoot a shotgun and all that. And it was a pistol grip, uh, Sega 12 gauge, and they they had they had then. Before, there was just some long-ass gun, I'm not sure what it was called. And after I shot the shotgun, I got a chance to shoot the Sega AK-47. That was loads of fun to shoot, too. You see, this is just the way I look at it. It's a sport for people to just blow off steam. You want to go out back and, you know, in, on your property and shoot a couple couple of, can, of cans or, you know, or, you know what I'm saying? Shoot those um, targets that ring, you know. 
That's one thing. You want hunting for the sport of it and to catch something to eat it or mount it on your wall? You know, as an animal, I reckon, you know, even mounting it on your wall thing, but you're not going to understand hunting as a sport. And even using a gun for self defense. That's one thing. If you got someone who's breaking into your house, he's got a gun, he or she's got a gun, you got a gun, you got a family to protect, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to go, oh, I shouldn't use guns because it'll make gun owners look bad. Fuck that, dude. If I got a family to protect and some asshole's breaking in my house with a gun, I'm going to get my gun and be like, you know what I'm saying? And even if the cops do show up, I'll be like, look, he had a gun, I had a gun, I was just protecting my family. You know what I'm saying? Constitutional right here. And I wouldn't shoot to kill, I'd shoot to just arm. There's a difference. Um, at some point, if, you know, you, you got a good shot in the knee, <laughs> he blows out his fucking knee, you can't walk, and then you shoot him in the hand. See, what that does is he can't hold his gun and he can't walk. He's virtually defenseless. And after that, you call 911 and be like, hey, look, so just sort of, you know what I'm saying? And then when the cop gets to put the gun out, be like, hey, look, this is what happened. And the guy's sitting there going, you fucking idiot, that fucking ass. Just sitting there cussing you. I'm like, hey, look, buddy, you know, my, you know what I'm saying? So that's the way I look at it, personally. And quite honestly, I think it's ridiculous. You know, either people using this as an excuse to make guns look bad or using it as an excuse to... Uh, make the government look bad, and I think it's a combination of the both, to be honest with you. People are at arms war, basically, and you know what? I'm tired of it. I really am. Um, I don't think our founding fathers, when they envisioned our country with the right to support and bear arms, had that in mind. Now, all these videos are claiming that uh, these are all just conspiracies, these are all hoaxes, and personally, I don't know what the fuck to believe, because you got to, you know, people saying shit like, well, how do you feel about Obama's gun ban, and all this other shit, and he's going against the conspiracy, you know, and, and then, you know, people saying, oh, it's a fake, then you look at the history of crazed Republican gun owners trying to make the government look bad, oh, government's trying to take my guns, fuck that shit, you know what I'm saying, and it just leads to this unbelievably just frustrating topic of view. Now here's the thing. If this shit is real, we lost a lot of children that could have been doctors, lawyers, the next president, but you're more focused on, oh, you know, they're trying to get their guns banned. Well, if they are, it's probably for a good reason in social because it doesn't happen. But I can guarantee fucking tell you it's like I said, getting guns banned is not gonna solve a goddamn thing. It really isn't, you know, if you look at the track record of criminals with guns they're not going to get two shits of piss if it's illegal or not. They're going to they're finally get the guns out of the way. So all you're doing is making it easier for the criminals to kill us, basically, if you're trying to get guns banned. So, and personally, I don't think we can be finding blame on who did what, who said this, who said that. It's all guns' fault. No, it's all the government's fault. Fuck that. Okay. Instead of trying to find the problem, we need to find the solution. And we're, gonna find, we're not going to find the solution pointing fingers, because that's all we're doing is pointing fingers. This really is all we're doing is pointing fingers. This is a hoax. This is the government's fault. Oh, it's a gun fault. It's your fault. You know, shit like that. And you know what? That's only going to create more mass confusion in this society of ours. And quite frankly, it's understandable why you're angry, because you lost children and family and loved ones. And that's got to suck, man. But you're not going to find the solution by pointing fingers. Um... Because nine times out of ten, when you overreact and get really pissed off, I understand why you're overreacting and pissed off, but you tend to see this a lot with shit like this in our country. Every time a shooting happens or some national tragedy, people are always pointing fingers and blaming, you know, whose side are you on? You know, Obama's fault and shit like that. And quite frankly, that's not going to solve a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? That's my two cents on it. It's not going to solve a thing at all, actually. It's not. It's not going to solve. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I've heard a lot of people say it's Obama. So I've heard a lot of people say, Obama's not going to get our guns back. It's just stupid Republicans talking shit. And you know what? I don't care whose fucking fault it is, man. At some point, we got to stop saying, you know, like I said, stop, stop pointing fingers and blaming people and blaming guns. Just look for a solution. If people spent as much time pointing fingers as they did looking for a solution, we would have found one by now. That wouldn't involve taking our guns away, yet at the same time wouldn't jeopardize the lives of our children. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, 
And the thing is, you know, this is what I've noticed in our society, this recurring theme we've had with our country and shit like this that happens. Um, <clears throat> uh, stricter gun laws? Yeah, I mean, I really don't... I mean, there is really no need for a civilian to own an AK-47 with a semi-automatic <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's for home defense, you know, because I don't want no criminal breaking into my house. Okay. Yeah, so you have pistols and shotguns and rifles for you. You don't need some souped-up AK-47, you know. Unless you're in the military and you're using it to defend your country. That's one thing. Just what I say. However, but you're being a hypocrite. You just said you got to fire an AK-47. You said it was fun. Yes, it was fun to shoot with, you know. But there's a difference. You get what I'm saying? Uh, this is... It, it's hard to discuss my point of view because, by God, someone's going to get pissed off and start, you know, pointing fingers at me and say, well, you're the reason why our country's so fucked up. No, 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 no. Okay, you're missing the point. Like I said, blaming people's not going to get you anywhere. Okay, pointing fingers and blaming. Every time a shooting in our country happens, we've done that. And look where it's gotten us. Um... Unfortunately, you know, and there's, you know, I get what you're saying, you know, the shootings in our country are tragic, yes, and it's sad to lose fellow American citizens, it really is, but getting more worked up than you need to be and start pointing fingers and, oh, it's all, you know what I'm saying, it just creates a mess, it really just, ugh, it's frustrating as all hell, and rather than, you know, point fingers, I rather express my views through a song that the whole world can listen to and realize that, hey, like I said, you know, looking for a solution is a lot more productive than, you know, we're trying to find a solution, but through the ways of finding a solution where you're getting angry and angry by the man because the sheer stupidity our country is expressively sharing with the world, you know, on YouTube and shit like that. It's just an excuse to get guns banned. It's all Obama's so, oh, Obama's not trying to do this. You're just full of shit. Now you're full of shit. You know, stupid, stupid stuff like that. Okay? The, you're missing the point. We just lost 20-some-odd children to a sadistic psychopath with a gun, and your first solution is to blame Obama for it? Seriously? Obama's not the one that fucking did it, you asswipe. Now, is Obama perfect? No. Obama's got some things he needs to work on. I can admit that. But at least he's trying. Um, I don't see you coming with a solution. All I see people do is blame, 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 blame. What are you doing? I'm not blaming people. I'm just pointing out the obvious, if that makes any sense. Now, you can call me a condescending asswipe all you want, but if you stop and think about this for just a second, just before you go off with the condescending hypocritical comments, just stop for one second and listen to me, okay? I'm so sick and tired of people saying all this shit about me, talking all this shit about me. But here's the thing. Sometimes I actually make a bit of sense if you stop and think about it just for one fucking second of your life. I'm sorry to get mad, but this, this topic frustrates the hell out of me because guns aren't the problem. People are. People's stupidity is the problem. Um, because I know I've seen a lot of awesome gun owners on YouTube. Um, Hitcock45, for instance. He has a ton of guns. He has his own target range. He goes out and shoots a couple of guns and shows them off, you know. He's you about gun safety. And you know what? That's fucking awesome. You know, you're, you're keeping the positive side of it up. But on the downside of it, people are using guns to destroy each other with. And you know what? It's just an endless circle of... Ah! So what do you do with that circle? You move it in the right direction. Look for solutions instead of pointing fingers. See, I tend to repeat myself because sometimes people think I'm saying shit that I don't mean to say, but here's the thing. Okay? A while back, a couple of years ago, someone commented, Oh, like how you think you're, like, you seem to know a lot about society, but you're saying video games are the cause of all this. No. I'm not, I never said video games are the cause of the shootings. I was really trying to identify why people might think that. Because here's the thing. Nine times out of ten, when a shooting happens in our country, what do they do? They blame our society, they blame the guns, they blame the video games. But here's the thing, I'm not saying video games are the cause of it, I'm merely saying that when a kid or a young teenager or adolescent is feeling trapped beneath pressures of puberty, high school, drama, bullshit, parents don't understand, and they feel like they have no control in their lives, so what do they do? They go and they play a video game that gives them control. 
Sometimes it could be just racing a really fast car, or flying around on a broomstick and playing Quidditch and Harry Potter, for instance. Or in the extreme case, playing Call of Duty Black Ops and just killing zombies, you know, it's a great way to blow a steam. But here's the thing, that shit stays in a video game. If the kid cannot distinguish between reality and fantasy, that's not the game's fault, it's the kid's fault. And the kid needs severe health, okay? That's what I've been trying to say to the, to the videos where I've talked about shit like that, okay? Um, I play games like that, yes, I have GTA San Andreas for the PS2, the game's loads of fun to play, you know, customize a couple of kick-ass cars, you know, but shit like that stays in the game, I never, could never kill somebody, as much, you know, I don't care how much somebody pisses me off, I can never kill somebody, to be honest with you, because look what happens when you do something like that, it makes headline news, everyone makes us think about it, and I'll start pointing fingers again, and, and I just, I can't contribute to that, as much as someone may frustrate me to the point I, I think about it, yes, but I know that, for one, it's not worth their life and ruining their family's lives. That's the most important thing. And for two, it's not worth, worth ruining my life or going to prison because at the end of the day, they're just, they're just some asshole, you know. So what would be the point of killing them because it's only going to make the situation worse? Not absolutely, 100% guarantee it's going to make the situation worse. So why in fact would I do that? It's not going to help me any. It's really not going to help them any. You know what I'm saying? So, that's my two cents. And, ironically enough, this song is called Finger Paint and Blood. And you think that's a little grim, but it's an ironic truth to it. And, here's what I got so far. tells us do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting heart. Inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Now all I do is I'm taking a bunch of sound clips from YouTube, maybe there's a couple of rednecks bitching about Obama saying how much he sucks, you know, and a couple of people saying it's not Obama's fault and then as it all comes together, there was some like crazy ass beat and some gunshots. <laughs> the song kicks in. A very powerful message. And ironically enough, if anything, I want the song to. This, it's going to be available for free with my entire fifth, fifth album here. And, you know, and it's just a song that, taking what I've observed through watching bullshit stories on the news about. Oh, it's Obama's fault or shit like that. To watching people who are crying because they lost their loved ones because some idiot decided he was sick and tired of the bullshit and decided he wanted to get even by killing people, which didn't really do anything except make people sad and angry. So, I mean, if you hate society that fucking much, maybe you should think about helping yourself. Just some counseling, or maybe go on YouTube and bitch about it, or. Write a song about it, man, or paint it, you know? It's a lot healthier than actually going out and going, fuck you, mother, you know what I'm saying? And that's the way I look at it, is if I'm feeling that angry with society, I don't go out and actually kill somebody, I actually make a song about it, and healthily find an outlet to express myself in a creative way, if that makes any sense. Um, because, I, yeah, I've shown the red flags if someone would do something like that, but I could never do something like that, man. Especially when my mom was in a situation like that, my stepmom was concerned about my mom. Um, a couple months ago, we had this idiot who um, went to the um, Casper College with a crossbow and I and killed the teacher and the teacher's girlfriend off campus. Nice, huh? Yeah, real fucking nice. And for a while, we got to be the town everyone talked about. Oh, did you hear what happened to Casper? Oh my god, I know, right? All the locals, all the locals are going, God damn it, now we're at that town, we're at that, you know. And if you want one of your towns being one of those towns that everyone talks about and feel sorry for, because quite frankly, that is the most annoying thing in the world for me. Because one, it saddens me because we had to go through that shit. And then uh, not within two weeks later, we had some fucking psycho run around downtown with a gun and he shot up a hotel and killed one hotel person. And then another shooting, this guy killed someone in a Mexican restaurant. Down fucking town, man. I remember the day, too, I'm getting a ride to work and I'm thinking, what's all the cops, man? There's cops everywhere. Just Man, it was intense, dude. As it turns out, we had two more shootings in Casper.
great. Shit's hitting the fan. And you want to know why they're doing it? Because like near fucking T, they're telling Obama, you can't take our guns away. Here's the proof. And you know what? If that is the case, then our country is just a bit more fucked up than I would have, could have imagined possible. And at this point, I'm just so livid with it all that, you know, I'm, I want to make an awesome song about it. I've already got the lyrics for it. I'm getting the build up for the song going, and it's going to kick ass. Why it's going to kick ass? Because it's going to expressively move people. Okay? For me personally, it's, this is how I relieve my stress. If I'm feeling angry at society, I want to talk about it in the song and express it. And people can he hear that and go, this guy gets it. You know? And you know, it's not just making music, too. It's listening to music. If I'm feeling depressed with the society that w we live in, I'll listen to some Pink Floyd, smoke a cigarette, and be like, fuck it, who cares? You know, just relax. Music is a big part of my life. Expressing it, living it, making it, loving it. And it's been like that since I was born. Um, if I didn't have music, I don't know where I'd be in today. Yeah, I'd probably be in the asylum or in jail or, in, or dead. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, music is what keeps me to reality, if that makes any sense. Um... And quite frankly, like I said, I'm fucking tired of it. I'm, I'm tired of all the bullshit in our society. So what I do, my best I can do is give you my two cents. This is what I'm thinking. This is how I feel about it. And if you like the video, like. If you don't, thumbs down. You know, leave a nasty comment about how much of a little fucked heart I am and how much I suck and blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Um, it's just me expressing myself. That's the beauty of YouTube is it allows me to express myself to a degree. Just to a degree where I, there's a line I don't cross on YouTube. After I crossed that line before, and guess what? YouTube didn't like it, so guess what? My shit got flagged. I, I lost my first account to them. Second account got deleted because the guy who created it for me, you know, and it being one of those two faced trolls I talked about on my Facebook post, if you saw that recently. These are the kind of trolls that pretend to be your friend, talk shit behind your back, and then fuck with you, and then pretend like, oh, it's not me, blah, 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 bullshit. Okay, here's the thing. Only I and him know the, knew the password. And somehow he said, well, I had to change it because, you know, security reasons or whatever. Yeah, bullshit. Um, and the thing is with YouTube, when you're dealing with trolls like that, they like to fuck with you. And here's the thing. This guy's also fucking with someone else. Raymond, dude, seriously, did you mind you 420 only? Just a bunch of fucking trolls, dude. Um, for your sake, please just ignore them because... I've noticed a lot of similarities between what you got going on your channel and what you got going on mine. Um, the people that are following you, the same people that are following me, you know. And they pretty much haven't talked shit about me or tried anything with me in a while because I think they're starting to figure out that I'm not as stupid as I look or as stupid as people think I am. Um, and I find it insulting that, you know, you're talking shit about me on some blog website. Ha ha, this guy sucks, lol. I'm sitting there going, you fat fucking thick, seriously. You think I'm stupid? I think you're the ones being stupid because you must be if you think I can't see this shit or I don't look it up because I do. If anything, it gives me the motivation to say, fuck the trolls and keep going. So, yeah. And keep going to these videos. So, what of it? <sighs> I need a cigarette. I'll calm the fuck down. So, that's the song so far. And this is what, you know sparked the video while working on this song of mine. I noticed a lot of videos saying that Sandy Brook was a hoax. That's just another excuse to try to get a gun stick away. And it just frustrates me to no end. It just, it really does. It's just, ugh. On the only irony of this, once I'm going to write this song, seeing what's going down in our society and all the bullshit, the shootings, and listening to Blood Brothers by Papa Roach. It's an awesome song. Um, just the guitar, just the intensity, but it conveys a very powerful yet in-your-face emotion, and that kind of emotion I want to convey into this song. And I know it's ironic, like, because all hell, and really bad irony, yes, but at the same time, it's just making inspiration for music. And using it to inspire my own music. You know. Oh, yeah. I haven't had any sleep. Um, I was going to go to bed, but I thought, you know what? 
old kind of song. So that's what I'm doing right now. And you're thinking, see this way I can advertise this shit and give it to the public for free because if I take money for it, it's copyright infringement because I'm using news articles and shit. CNN and Fox News could probably sue my ass big time. I made it big, you know. But the thing is, I'm just some random 21 year old working at Wendy's in Casper fucking Wyoming bitching about life. So at this point, they probably don't give a shit or care. So if the music does take off and they say, well, you can't, you did it, did it, I'm like, yeah, I took no credit for the song chunks other than the drums and the guitar you hear are actually mine. Actually, musical typed out drums and actual guitar and vocals are going to be mine. But the thing is, I'm using something else to relieve my stress to express my creativity and express my concerns, like using YouTube, for instance. So, am I repeating myself? Yeah, I'm repeating myself. But quite honestly, <laughs> I'm sick and tired of it, man. I really am. I just... Well, anyway, I'm going to continue working on the song, so uh, I just thought I'd stop by and, you know, give you the lowdown on my two cents on what I'm feeling here, so... Yeah, but didn't you make jokes about Sandy Brook in your dark comedy video, you hypocrite? Yes, yeah, sometimes I find ways of relieving my stress and trying to find humor in it. Um... Not necessarily making fun of the situation, but finding puns within the words of the puns, if that makes any sense. And that's why dark comedy is so complicated to do. I mean, now take, for example, this is what I'm referring to with humor like dark and sexual comedy, you know. If you're going to impress chicks with a witch that's perverted, don't make it directly about the chick, but rather about a situation. Nine times out of ten, chicks are probably going to be turned off by you making an allude sexual comment about her, but rather about a situation, it's more likely to get a bigger laugh. I mean, if, if you get what I'm saying, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. Anyway, this is I'm King with JFS with another video, and thanks for watching. You can work on the song, so I'll see you guys later.